Hey there folks, welcome back for another Throwback Thursday upload. Uh, this match is from uh, Gen 4, it's a PBR match against Luna874, um, a loyal subscriber of mine and a name who I haven't thought of in a really long time. Anyway, this um, this match, I'm playing around with how I want to do layouts for these battles. So this is a battle uh, using the good quality capture card that I have that was able to record in HD. I was think I think I was still working out the video settings here, so that's why it doesn't look absolutely great. But um, you know, whatever, it looks a lot better than some of the previous PBR batch, uh, matches I've uploaded. Anyway, I do want to still use a layout with these matches, and I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I'm not 100% satisfied with this. What I might do is just prop the video to fit um, the layout. Maybe I won't do like the the burn, the hazard, uh, the um, statuses, but uh, you know, at least the Pokemon shouldn't be hanging off the edge like this. So anyway, I lead off in this battle with my um, Uxie, as he leads off with his, um, whatchamacallit, it's his Shedinja. So I go ahead and set up Salt Rock. I can't touch this thing. I run, um, you know, not a very offensive set. Um, and, you know, I really can't do anything to him. He goes ahead and Sword Stances. Um, yeah, Mag uh, Wonder, Wonder Guard is an amazing ability. Anyway, yeah, can't do anything. Gonna go ahead and switch out. And I make what was really a stupid, stupid play. I should have gone out into Arcanine. Instead, I went out into Steelix. I have no idea why I did this. Arcanine, um, you know, can't be burned. Arcanine has a 100% accurate, a super effective move, versus Hatterack, my Steelix, has um, Stone Edge, which has not the best accuracy as everyone knows. Also, there's no reason for both my um, both Hatterack... Oh yeah, it's susceptible to burn. It's going to get burned here. Um, and uh, there's no reason for both Hatterack and Uxie to have um, um, Stealth Rock on them. I, I think actually that was intentional that I really really wanted rocks and just in case you know uh, my first rocker got uh, got taken out and you know I back then I was like oh you gotta have rocks to win the game but, you know later on I learned I learned that it wasn't that important but whatever anyway um, Steelix is going to be able to take shadow sneaks for days I'm not concerned and luckily both of my stone edges hit and I'm going to be able to take out the shit ninja uh, unfortunately it's meant that my Steelix is burned and well it's not great. Um, so I'm not concerned about I'm not concerned about Sturdy because Sturdy wasn't a thing in Gen 4. Uh, Sturdy only got its boost that you know prevented you from being one hit KO'd um, in Gen 5. It prevented one hit KO moves in Gen 4, but you know who used one hit KO moves? They usually weren't legal. So anyway, Gastron's gonna go out here, gonna toxic my Uxie, and uh, that is not great for me. Not because I'm worried about the toxic, because I have Heal Bell, because it uses up my Lumberry. Um, I just swapped that out for a chest up right later on because the the hope with this set is that you go for rest um, and then chest berry activates and that's its form of recovery. Um, and you see really is my cleric here. So he's going to go and switch out um, and go out into Absol. That's not great. That's really not great. So I go ahead and heal Bell on the switch. So that's good. So at least Hatterack is not burned anymore. That's something. It's, it's not much, but it's something. Uh, so here comes the Sucker Punch. Uh, I'm pretty defensive, you know, Uxie is pretty bulky, and even so, wow, that did a lot of damage. So, um, yeah, I'm, uh, that, uh, Life Orb, Absol, really powerful Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out, um, and it's going to be a super effective hit, um, but, you know, it's not going to, it actually gets him down pretty low. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw shade at that, but it gets him down pretty low. Uxie's going to come back here, and I go now out into, I, I consider who to go out into, how to actually resist most hits, um, and, you know, Arcanine has extreme speed. I actually end up going out into uh, Hatterack because I'm like, yeah, there, she, should, she shouldn't be able to touch me. Um, back in Gen 4, uh, Dark was still resisted by Steel. So he shows me he's got superpower. I'm like, oh, superpower. Yes, I should have been worrying about that. That was That is a concern. Yes, that's a concern. So I've just lost my Steelix unnecessarily. And I wasted that turn field bug for nothing. For absolutely nothing. There was no benefit. Because all I did was fodder my Steelix anyway. So I consider what to do now. I, um, you know, Arcanine, he's probably going to switch out anyway, but I go out into Arcanine. Uh, it is a Flash Fire Arcanine. I think that, I don't think that was intentional necessarily. Like, I think it was just a matter of I was reading in Gen 4 before I learned to RNG. But anyway, I take out Absol with an Extreme Speed, and that, and I have no idea why he didn't save it for later. He totally could have. But works out for me. 
Um, Arcanine has Life Orb, as I just showed you. Um, this video, you will notice, I'm not, I do not show, um, like, I, I'm showing you the items once, but, like, I'm not showing you leftovers every turn, just kind of trying to speed things up, keep things moving. I go out into my Blastoise here, which is a really weird and stupid set. I'm going to show you the set in a second. Back, back at this point, I was still trying to be quote-unquote creative. I thought that creativity was awesome, and you know, I still think creativity is awesome, but I'd also rather use sets that actually work. So as you saw for those brief few seconds, I'm a rest talker with water spout. Yeah, that's not really, that's not really a thing. Um, so I go for Ice Beam. And it's going to take out Altaria, that's not a concern of mine. But uh, now my health is down pretty low, and Blastoise's speed is not particularly good, so I doubt I'll be able to get off any rest talking. Um, you know, and my health, well, my health is about 50%, so that's not horrible. But, anyway, now it is going to be Drapion. Drapion? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, he's going to go ahead and Swords Dance. Um, I really should have rested here if I was going to rest. This would have been a perfect time to do so. Instead, um, I just went for the Ice Beam, which would have been stupid if he carried... I think I was really thinking that he'd carry the Sucker Punch, but if he was going to carry the Sucker Punch, then he would have been able to kill me. The great thing about Sleep Talk is that um, it's uh, you know it doesn't count as an attacking move, so Sucker Punch doesn't work with it. Anyway, Blastoise gets taken out here with a, cross, with a plus two Cross Poison. That's not great. No, it's really not. So I go now out into my Rotom, um, kind of hoping that, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go for Substitute because I'm thinking he's going to just go for Sucker Punch just to try to kill me. Um, and, uh, so I go ahead and go for the sub. I'm behind a sub. This is great. I'm thinking, okay, here comes the Sucker Punch, and, uh, oh, I, the, the Sucker Punch would have happened by now. So, yeah, he shows me it's, he's going to use Night Slash, and so that's, that's just not... It's not working for me. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not playing well at all. This was this wasn't even like one of my first matches with this UU team. I think this was like my third or fourth. Um, but yeah, so here I go for the charge beam because um, Shadow Ball is resisted. Does not take out Drapion. Doesn't even come close. And he's going to be able to take me out with a Night Slash. And so that is going to be a dead Rotom. And I am in. You know, I could have used that Rotom. I could have used it for his Espeon. I could have use Shadow Balls against um, uh, Gastrodon, uh, you know, behind a sub, like, if I, you know, wouldn't have been able to be toxic. But anyway, Arcanine goes for the extreme speed here, and at that range of health, thanks to all that life orb recoil, all that life orb recoil that he accumulated by killing my moms, I'm able to take him out. So, uh, yay! Actually, so the match, so I'm, I actually have a lead in terms of number of Pokemon left. Um, but one of them is my extremely weakened um, UFC. So I go ahead and go for the Morning Sun here, get my health back up to full. I was very surprised that his um, Espeon didn't outspeed me. Um, but he, I guess he's showing he's a support set. He goes for Wish. Now here he goes for Protect just to see what I, if I'm going to attack him. Um, you know, it's, it's a waste of a Wish because he's basically at full health. And I think he actually is at full health with Leftovers. But anyway, so, um, you know, no, so he wasn't at, he didn't, uh, yeah, so now he's at full health. Um, and so now he's going to go into withdraw. I'm going to go out into Gastrodon, predicting the Flare Blitz, and that you know that's a good prediction, that's a good idea. So um, going to go for the Flare Blitz. It's not going to do very much. I'm like, hey, maybe I'll get a burn because that would be great. Um, and I do not get burned. I go ahead and withdraw Arcanine here. Uh, consider what to do. I go out into my Glaceon. Oh, I love this Glaceon. This was. I I think Glaceon was RNG. I'm pretty sure it was. It doesn't have flawless stats because I wasn't good at RNGing back then. But um, yeah, I really like this Glaceon. Uh, and it's such an amazing Pokemon. I would love to figure out a place to use it. So I consider what to do. Um, I decide I'm gonna go for fake tears here. Um, get the defenses down low. Yeah, I'm taking my time deciding, but yeah, I ended up just choosing to uh, fake tears. Get his defenses down low. Um, and uh, hopefully will be, or his, her, I don't actually know the gender of that Gastrodon. Um, shows me got Mirror Coat, so if I'd gone for the Ice Beam, that I would have died. So I'm like, hey, I can just go for another Fake Tears. That's great. And at this point, I'm like, well, do you have any attacking moves? So, got Toxic, got um, mir Magic Mirror Coat, got Counter. What's the last move? It's not. I was, I was gonna say Scald. There is no Scald in Gen Four. There's no Scald. That was a Gen Five thing. So gonna go out now. He's gonna go out. She's gonna go out now into um, 
Espeon, and I was like, ah, oh, this, uh, this attack will kill, and, um, you know, not against Espeon, but it would have killed against Gastrodon at that range, um, at that minus four defenses. So I go ahead and withdraw here. I'm, like, I'm toxic. I don't want to be racking up this toxic damage. I go out uh, into Yuxi. Um, mir uh, mirror his, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Espeon is going to go for Wish, and can stall me out on something. Oh, he's just going to protect. That's going to be great because that's going to allow me to get off the heel belt. And it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be happy times all around. Except Shadow Ball. Yeah. Um, realized I would outspeed. It was a good move. And now I've lost my Uxie. And Glaceon is permanently toxic. Not good for me. Not good at all. Not, not good. Uh, because if he plays his cards right, I just don't see how I'm going to win against this core of Espeon and, um,. You know, he can just switch out Espeon every time I've got Glaceon on the field, and switch out, um, switch into Gastron every time I have Arcanine on the field. So I go out into Arcanine, um, and gonna go for the Protect just to, you know, waste another, waste some turns. That's, I guess that's fine by me. I go for, for Flare Bits just for maximum damage, and, uh, here I'm like, well, probably gonna switch out, so I'm gonna go for the Extreme Speed. Extreme Speed gets a critical hit! Gets him down very, 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 very low. Does not kill, but you know, I'm fine with that. Did a lot of damage. Uh, protect, fine, whatever. Don't care because... Oh, uh, I do care because I was going to say, yeah, but the next one was going to kill. But no, that was because... Um, that was definitely because um, of the critical hit. So, I go ahead and at least recover my health with Morning Sun. So at least something good has happened from this. That uh, I was able to recover health with Morning Sun. So here I go for another extreme speed. Um, not going to kill. It's, it's not. Uh, but I figure this guy's got a this guy's got to attack at some point, or might run out of uh, might run out of wishes. Here decides I decide not to protect for whatever reason. I go for the flare blitz and take it out. So that is a dead Espeon, and I am very very pleased by that because uh, I know from experience that a minus uh, I, I know, do some calcs and see that a minus for um, ice beam will one hit KO Gastrodon. So. Yeah, that's going to be great. So I go ahead and go for the extreme speed here. Uh, it's going to get uh, the thing health down decently low, not like super low or anything. And Gastron's going to go ahead and use counter here, and that is going to take me out. You know, all the damage done comes back double. So now the question basically is: Does what's the fourth move? Um, is that Gastron going to have something in the wings that can take out Kyoko um, before I can take it out? So I go for the fake uh, fake tears, get its health, uh, get its uh, defenses down, and here shows me the fourth move is recover. So, uh, no attacking moves at all. So I can go for another fake tears, get its health down lower. I, toxic damage is accumulating, and I did cut that out. Um, Miracle, yeah, I'm just I'm not attacking until I can be guaranteed the one hit KO. And I do the calc C that minus four will be a guaranteed one hit KO. And um, even so, I'm going to go down to minus six just in case I screwed up my math. Because there's no point not. Um, Toxic was not going to kill me on this turn. I actually regret a little bit cutting out that many. Okay, so here I show exactly how much Toxic damage I ended up having left. I go for the Ice Beam here. Again, minus six. That is going to take it out. No questions asked. Glaceon has really good special attack. And it was not a resisted hit or anything. And again, minus six special defense. That was going to kill. So that is the game. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Gen uh, 4 PBR UU match. I know I did, and uh, I will see you all next time I see you.